Are you working out and eating clean consistently but nothing's changing? Your abs aren't more defined? You aren't any lighter or stronger? You don't feel that much better? Hi viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. When it comes to getting results with your workout, we assume that a couple of long gym sessions twice or three times a week will do the trick. The trouble is, it really doesn't work like that. In order to reap all the health benefits of exercise, it's important that you do it right. And in today's video, we'll discuss the most common workout mistakes that might be sabotaging your fitness goals. From lack of accountability, skipping the warm-up, setting unrealistic goals, incorrect breathing, to doing too much too soon and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Changing your diet all at once Some smokers can quit cold turkey. Great for them. More often, intense withdrawals and cravings lead people to stick a cigarette in their mouth after just a few days or weeks. The same applies to cleaning up your nutrition. Eliminating everything you're used to eating all at once will have you stalking the fridge like a lion stalking a gazelle and growling like one. We all know how that nature film ends. Clean up your diet and steps. You probably know what your worst one or two nutrition vices are. Target them first. Once you get through a few weeks without them, remove another one or two bad food choices from your house. Make it a gradual process, and after some time, you won't even miss those foods anymore. In your quest for fitness, do you change your diet often? Tell us quickly in the comment section below. Number 2. Watching the scale like a hawk the scale is the fitness world's proverbial watch pot never boils. We've all hopped on the scale at some point in our lives and found ourselves disappointed. Even after hours in the gym, multiple times a week for several weeks, the same number is staring up at us. But remember, the number on the scale is just that, a number. It doesn't say anything about lean muscle mass, water weight, or body fat. Heck, even body composition doesn't tell the whole story. Use other measurements of progress. It may not sound scientific, but how you look and feel are probably the best measurements when you're just starting out. How does your clothing fit? Is it a little looser around the middle or tighter in the sleeves? Progress. What about your workouts? Do they feel better? Are certain weights moving more easily? Is your overall energy level improving during the day? That's definitely progress. For the initial few months of your lifestyle change, trust these as your real measurements. Back them up every once in a while with progress photographs and a body composition test, and only step on the scale once in a blue moon. Number 3. Lack of accountability If you miss a workout or eat a meal that you know is not good for your goal, it won't matter because nobody will know any different. Not having someone to be accountable for you lets you roam free with no consequences. I'll just eat a little slice of cake and get back on track tomorrow. These little things add up and will destroy your chance of success unless you have someone to keep you accountable. Get a workout buddy or personal trainer for the first few weeks. Knowing that you have an appointment will make you much less likely to skip. If it's a paid session with a trainer, the chance of skipping is even less. Let people close to you know what you're trying to achieve and allow them to help you. Number 4. Unrealistic Goals I'll exercise for 2 hours a day, 7 days a week. I will never eat fast food again. This kind of thinking usually starts on January 1st and lasts about a week. Goals are driven by the willpower you have at that moment. It's important to be realistic about what you want to achieve. Most people are just not physically or mentally prepared for drastic lifestyle changes. Willpower is overrated. Habits, on the other hand, are what allow people to successfully implement lifestyle changes. Building any habit is difficult, so it's important to make it easy at the beginning. An example for somebody who wants to get stronger would be to do one push-up a day. For someone who wants to lose weight, start by adding a cup of greens to one meal each day. Look at your goals in the long term. Get away from the idea of losing 14 pounds in a week and so on. Think about losing 14 to 28 pounds in a year and keeping it off. Having someone like a personal trainer to help you set a goal is a great start. Number 5. Not working out correctly how many times have you seen someone in the gym leaning casually over the elliptical machine reading a book? You can tell by their posture that they're not committed to their workout, and the reality is they won't be burning a huge amount of calories. It's so important to get your technique right when you're using gym equipment or doing cardio. Just like reading a book while going through the stepping motions won't really help, neither will flogging yourself on the rowing machine until you pull a back muscle because your technique is poor. It's always a great idea to seek advice when you're starting a fitness program, and the most important advice will be technical tips on how to do it properly. Number 6. Skipping the warm-up Although it may save time, dodging the pre-workout warm-up is a surefire way to get injured. Have a dedicated warm-up that involves bodyweight exercises like lunges, squats, push-ups, and jumping jacks to elevate your heart rate before you attack the weights head-on. No matter how short of a time you have, always include a quick warm-up in your workout. 
Furthermore, before a big compound lift, like a squat or a deadlift, start a warm-up set with more reps at a lighter weight. It'll further increase blood flow to your muscles and help you cue up a good form before you start going heavy. If you simply don't have a ton of time to get into your lifting session, shorten rest periods and cut out a set of each exercise rather than ditching the warm-up. Number 7. Not planning your route time Walking into the gym without a plan in mind is a bit like heading to the grocery store without a shopping list. You'll end up wandering aimlessly back and forth, spending way more time than necessary. Your plan of attack should be well thought out in advance. Include the exercises, sets, and reps, as well as the order you want to do them in so you can plan your route around the weight room floor. Write them down. If you're working out with a buddy, take time to discuss the routine ahead of time so you're both on the same page. This cuts down on talking and ensures that you both get down to business. Number 8. Only working certain muscles Only working out your beach muscles like biceps, triceps, chest, abs, and quads is another common fitness mistake. This will definitely help you look toned come summer, but you're gonna need to do more if you're really attempting a total body approach to weightlifting. Most of these muscles are in the front of the body, so limiting your weightlifting to these areas can cause imbalances. Too much strength and tightness in the front, especially chest and shoulders, with weakness in the back and scapular muscles can cause forward slumped posture. Work the muscles in the shoulder and upper back regions. Try pulling activities like rowing and dumbbell rows, shoulder press, reverse flies, and serratus push-ups. Building muscle does not have to be all about the gym and protein powder. There are many natural ways in which you can do it as well. To know what they are, watch this video titled Sure Shot Ways to Build Muscles Naturally. Now back to fitness mistakes that are stopping you from reaching your goals. Number 9. Incorrect Breathing Incorrect or dysfunctional breathing is a common issue for many people in these stressful times. Instead of belly breathing using your diaphragm, many people develop shallow chest breathing and mouth breathing. This means you're inhaling through the mouth instead of through the nose. Incorrect breathing can lead to increased stress, blood pressure, anxiety, muscular tightness, compromised cardiovascular output, and will hinder your ability to train hard. When exercising and getting your heart rate up, focus on inhaling through your nose. Your belly should inflate as you do so. Try to exhale through your mouth. Number 10. You don't work on your weaknesses Average people typically exercise to maintain a healthy heart, weight, or get some feel-good endorphins. When they go to the gym, they focus on the areas they want to improve, using exercises they like but may not necessarily find challenging. This is actually a big mistake. This is because they pick out exercises that they're proficient and comfortable doing, as opposed to the ones that are actually going to work their weaknesses. This is usually why they're deficient in that area in the first place. Doing exercises or movements you don't like is the best way to get better at them. Limiting yourself to what you know and like will become repetitive and boring. Number 11. Too much, too soon. Everyone knows the saying, enough is as good as a feast. It also refers to fitness. Doing too much too soon is an easy mistake to make. It can lead to injury, a quick drop in motivation, and discourage you to exercise more. You should always remember that your body needs time to adjust to a new workout plan and to rest and recover between workouts, so don't put too much on your plate. Do you make any of the mistakes that we mentioned? What's your biggest mistake that's stopping you from getting fit? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie! Wait! What kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy!